I had Michael Madsen for about two days, so I had to pre-design those shooting days to only shoot his close-up. Since I am an editor myself, I knew what shots I was going to need and what shots I will be able to get away with by using a, a double. I must have had four doubles to play Michael in different locations. I probably did one master shot Michael was in and everything else was shot as a close-up or a medium shot. All of Madsen's reverse was a double. It was difficult, but I was able to pull it off. You would never imagine Michael was only used for two days in the film. He's in the movie from the beginning to the middle and the end. Now the post-production process took me about four months to edit and another three months to finish the audio. I had to redub all the voice of the leading lady due to many circumstances, time, money, availability, and so forth. I was so fortunate to have a voiceover actress who had a similar voice who had to act out all the scenes of Christine's character. These are just some of the complications in making a movie with very little money. Chris Julian, my sound editor, is an Emmy Award winning sound designer that did a fantastic job with the sound. He not only helped me with the sound, but he also helped me with the story. He, he added dialogue that was off screen to make the movie make more sense. The stunt scene was the most scariest to do. I had more concern for Vinnie Verone who was doing his first high fall from a four story house. It's just nerve wracking to do a stunt and, and something goes wrong and I would be responsible for it. I had two stuntmen do the high fall. Ken Lesko, a veteran stuntman, who did the first fall and Vinnie Verone who did the second fall. There was a part of me that wanted to stop the second stunt that Vinnie was going to do. As Ken Lesko told me, the first was good enough. But Vinnie was so set in doing it that when I asked him not to do it, he insisted he had to do it. So I most he did it for him. Fortunately, everything went smooth and no one was hurt. Each film I do, I get better and better as a storyteller. I just hope for one day I make a box office hit movie and that is my aim. And so I'll keep making movies until I do make one that's going to be a box office hit.